Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I adjusted my speaker volume, um, so I hope that helps a little bit when it comes to being able to hear me. Uh, if it doesn't, I apologize. I set it on the highest setting that it will go. Um, after that, I really don't know what to do. This is a laptop, and I film with the camera on the laptop because it's easier for me just to upload right away. You guys know that I don't edit. Um, I don't know how. I don't really want to. Um, what you see is kind of what you get, and I apologize for that from time to time because there are distractions or interruptions. Um, but I do understand, you know, the frustration of not being able to hear someone speak. So, like I said, I hope that that did help, um, at least with the microphone. Um, so, anyhow, today's um, eye tutorial is a purple one. I am going to use the CoverGirl Eye Enhancers Quad in, I think this is Shimmering Sands, yes. I never remember the name of it, but it's the Shimmering Sands one. This is my everyday makeup um, or eyeshadow palette um, for my neutral eye, like every single day, what I wear to work or when I just, you know, want to put makeup on, don't want to really hassle with anything. I, I mean, these are my, my three go-to colors. So here's this. I started to change it up a little bit this month um, because I got that Sue Devitt eye pencil in purple. It's an Ava in a purple color in my birch box. Um, so I started to kind of incorporate this with it and it gives it like a really pretty effect. It kind of changes the tone of the eyeshadow and makes it more uh, purpley. So I've already done this side and there it is so you can see it. Um, I like it a lot. It's not you know, overtly purple, um, so it's very subtle, but it's a pretty change to the everyday neutral eye that I usually wear. Um, and it is still pretty neutral, it's just kind of a toned down purple. So I'm gonna put that uh, Benefit Recess Lana Creaseless Cream Eyeshadow on my lid, and then just blend so that I have a base for my eyeshadow. And I think when I finish this, I'll get a MAC Painterly, just to see, but I'm really liking this, the Benefit Creaseless Cream. I really like the um, results I get with it. Now then, I'm going to take the lightest shade of that eyeshadow, the Shimmering Sands eyeshadow, and I'm going to put that all over my eyelid, like so. Then I'm going to get a little bit into the corner and kind of bring it down a little bit underneath my eye, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take a, um, this is a crease brush, shadow brush, and that middle color, that taupey color, I'm just going to get that onto it and place that, whoopsie, place that into my crease, because you guys know that I create a crease. And I just windshield wipe it back and forth. until I get the color payoff that I want. Like that, okay? And with my MAC blending brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges of it. Like so, and that gives, you can tell my eye, a little bit of definition. It's not very um, defined or anything like that. It's just a little bit of definition that it gives it. That darkest color in the trio, I'm gonna pick that up on my eyeshadow brush and I'm going to put it right here in the outer corner just a little bit not a lot really nothing um, just to kind of darken it up okay and then I will blend it a little bit okay now with that Sue Devitt pencil I'm going to take it's very very soft I'm going to take it like this and I'm just going to put it here on the outside corner and it's going to be kind of messy and kind of bring it in a little like this. And I'm just going to kind of color this area in just like that. Not anything, you know, it's messy, I know. Just like that. Then with my finger, I'm going to blend it out a little bit, like so. Okay, 
and I'm also going to run it underneath like that just to kind of get it in the outer corner and underneath. And then I'm going to take that dark color from the shadow qua the shadow trio again. I'm going to get that onto my brush and I'm just going to put it right on top. I know you think this is weird because I'm putting brown on top of a purple. The purple actually shows through more when I do it this way um, than when I just do the pencil. That's just going right on top. It actually smooths it out some. So it works really, really well. And then I take a little bit of it on my pencil brush and put it right underneath, like so. And you can see that, and then just into the crease again. Okay, and then with my blender, I'm just going to blend the edges out so that they're not so harsh and underneath. And you can see it's very, very subtle, like I keep saying, uh, with the pencil. I'm just trying to correct the sides so that it looks like it does on the other side. Okay. And I go back with whatever's left on that, um, the highlight, the cream color, whatever's left on my brush, I just bring it back in. I don't pick up, pick up anything new, just keep it like that. And make sure that it's blended. And this is a uh, Maybelline's whew, Unstoppable Eyeliner in black. I picked this up because somebody suggested it um, on my Adventures in Eyelining tutorials. So I picked it up and I'm, I'm actually really liking it. It's got a really pretty formula. I'm just going to get that onto my lid very lightly, not anything. Too dramatic and then I'm going to run it down here underneath just a little. Only um, into the center. Right down here, you know, not all the way into my tear duct. So there's that pencil. And then I'm going to take my pencil brush again and just kind of go over that line that I created. And underneath my eye again. Okay. And then I will curl my lashes for mascara. And this is that uh, Maybelline's one by one volume express. And I'm gonna get that onto my lashes and on the bottom. me wipe away all that fallout. I do get a lot of fallout, but I just brush it away. <laughs> okay, and then my blush is my Hard Candy Living Doll Blush that I wear every single day for the most part. I'm going to get that onto my blush brush, pop it onto my cheeks. is Lorax um, Perfectly Lit in Spotlight. It's a mini. It's like that. I use it as kind of an everyday highlighter. I'm just going to get it on this Coastal Scents um, shadow brush or blending brush and apply it onto my face where I like my highlight to be. It works really pretty um, as kind of an everyday highlight. 
gives kind of a soft, almost like candle light, like it says, uh, glow. Like if I had, you know, a candle burning and I was sitting in front of it, it gives you that kind of a glow. And then I just kind of smooth it all together with my blush and my face with another brush. This is what I used to blend my facial powders together. It's a Guerlain brush. It came with a meteorite set um, a while back. And lastly, my second coat of mascara. The Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara. Okay, so there's the look. Like I said, it's a very subtle purple. It's by no means, you know, meant to be, um, like in your face purple or anything like that. It just kind of, you know, the pencil kind of gives a, a wash of color and then the brown just kind of keeps it neutral. So there it is again. And there's the cheek. And I know my highlight never really picks up, but maybe you can see it in here and then the blush. Um, I don't have any lip products on. I have lip balm on, um, my Pangea Organic Lip Balm. Um, but that's it. I don't have any lip gloss or anything like that. Um, it's Sunday, so I'm just kind of hanging around, out around the house washing baby bottles and baby clothing because you have to wash all that stuff before you uh, put it on baby. So doing all that stuff, sanitizing um, the new bottles and breast pump um, bottles. Is that it? I think that's it. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.